Hello there, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Sam, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Uh, a little while ago I did an opening and review of a Crafties uh, kit uh, and the one that I did was this one here uh, called Flora. And I, look, I just, I loved it so much, I loved everything about this company that I have now become an affiliate for them and they sent me an email and told me that they've got a new product that they've just released uh, and asked me if I'd like to, um, to have a look. So let's see what we have got. Ooh, ooh, exciting. So um, the new kits are, oh, it's had a, had a little bit of a, we've had a little bit of a squish here. Hopefully that's okay. But this is this is really exciting because the new kits are dun, 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 glow in the dark. And this is the one they've sent me. Oh it is beautiful. Chapter pearls. I'm guessing that is uh, uh, French for jade pearls. Uh, I know the artist, um, Sabeel Art, is a um, is an uh, artist from Belgium. So maybe that's uh, maybe that's the French French way. Let's have a look. Well, let's first have a look at this. Thanks so much, Crafties, for sending this. I normally um, use, you know that I'm a big fan of the Elizabeth Ward um, bead storage tray for my drills, but sometimes if you're doing a smaller kit, um, that Elizabeth Ward one, it does take up a lot of room on my desk. So a little one like this, oh, that would be great. Thank you, thanks so much. Ooh the new kids look at this okay we have got the the reference photo in a beautifully printed high gloss sticker sheet so you can stick that without any sticky tape straight into your logbook uh, or on the side of the uh, the box if you were going to put it away for a little while and you didn't want to um, and you wanted you know easy reference for uh, for that and then they have got so we have got 22 colors in this kit and these are all on stickers how easy will that make it wonderful oh that's fantastic so crafties have quickly become one of my favorite companies to get kits from I, I just love uh, the artists that they stock uh, in, a, um, in a in a community which is flooded with um, unlawful images um, and stolen artwork, companies like this that are just creating such beautiful licensed artworks for us um, are wonderful. Oh, look at her! Oh, look at her! Let's have a look. I'll take you up as high as I can get you. Oh, she is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. So I can see straight away that we have got a poured glue kit. So this one is a 45 by 55 centimeter artwork. And we have got the inventory schematic down here at the lower left and also printed now. So this must be their new way of doing kits. Also printed up here on the upper right. Which is great because it's it's um means that it's really close to hand and easy to see uh, when you're starting off the kit like I tend to at the top and I work my way down um, and then it's easy to reference here and on top of that you have got um, the sticker variety which you can either um, use these little stickers to stick onto your your containers if you're kitting up and you like to do it that way or you could keep them and stick them in a logbook if you wanted to save them. Oh, I'm so glad I received this one. I just love these colours. Oh, I think they are stunning. I love all of these smoky brown kind of colors in the background here and then her really cool skin tone over the top with these hot these hot flashes of red up here in the hair in her hair piece uh, with her pearl earrings um, 
and then her um, her beautiful waist sash. Gorgeous. All right, so now this this is the exciting thing. So in this kit, we have got our regular standard drills. We have got AB drills, which are the ones with the iridescent coating. We have got crystals, which are like the true rhinestone with the uh, like the mirror background, the mirror you know underneath, and then the clear the clear crystal on top. And we have got glow in the dark. So I'm keen to see what they all look like. Let's have a look. Up first, we have got these ones here. Now they are totally translucent in their look. So I'm guessing that is the first type of glow of the glow drills. We have got some indigo and deep reds and some neutrals for the background here. We have got some more glows. So that is two types of glow that we have got here. We have got our first AB, which is a shiny, like a moonstone white. And you can see that it reflects in, um, in light greens and blues. These are standard. Oh, the first in the crystals. So it is like an electric blue crystal. We have got another green glow. So is that three types of glows? I think it is. So we've got pink glows, these green glows, and then um, a lot of the uh, clear glows. Um, beautiful rusty browns and terracotta colours which will be a lot of the background another crystal so this is like a uh, a real kind of I was going to say scarlet but it's a little bit more raspberry than that so a bit more like a uh, like a rosy a rosy red really Oh, and a second AB, a real salmon, salmon coral colour AB, which is beautiful. And it throws um, like the light violet and yellow colours that it's throwing off there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, now um, I'm keen to, before we have a look at the, the canvas, while I've got these beads out, I'm keen to have a look at these glow glow drills a little bit closer. I, I've never I've never completed a kit with these before. So I would like to have a little look at them and see what they um, see what the finish is like and see what the reflectiveness of them is like. And I want to see is the benefit of them just in the ability to glow or will they actually you know sparkle on their own uh, like the other drills will. The size uniformity looks fantastic and it's always a tricky thing to record on a camera but can you see them sparkling that is what I was really hoping for I was a little bit concerned when I'm um, when I you know heard about the glow kits I was thinking that maybe the benefit of the glow drills is really only when the lights are off and during the majority of the daytime when you're looking at the finished piece I thought maybe these wouldn't shine quite so well but I'm really, really relieved to see that they do. You can really see they are just as sparkly and I actually think that they're beautiful in their own right. If these, if these drills did not glow in the dark at all, I, I actually have to say I think they would be my favourite drills in the kit anyway. They are beautiful. They are really lovely. Um, I wonder, they really are very see-through. They're very translucent. I wonder if we are going to see symbols through them. These ones, which don't have any colour to them at all, would likely show up uh, symbols and marks through them as well. So um, I'm going to test that out as well. Now, this kit does have a lot of 310 black in it. So I was just going to have a look at those and see uh, if there's much trash. Because if there's going to be any rubbish, this is the colour that it will show up in.
None. None at all. While I'm here, we can have a look at the size consistency. I think that is excellent. I can't see any there at all with any little bits of plastic sticking out of them, any knobs. And the size uniformity is perfect. Oh, so in summary, we have got, in a, in a kit with 22 colours, we have got uh, standard drills, we've got AB drills, uh, we've got glow drills, and we've got the crystals. Four types of drills in one kit. Uh, it's pretty impressive. And beautiful, beautiful artwork by Sabeel Art. <laughs> what more could I want? What more could I want? Let's now have a look at the canvas and then we can have a look at where these all these beautiful special drills are actually going to go. We have got light coloured wheels on dark areas. We have got dark symbols on light areas. The mid-tones have got the coloured background and then a dark symbol in white. So all, actually, this is different. This is different from the last kit that I had from Crafties. It used to be a circle, like an actual printed wheel and then the symbol in the middle. Now the entire canvas is done in the white circles with a black symbol on the white circle. I think that's a fantastic idea. It really does improve the clarity. Sometimes it was a bit of a guessing game where they would, you know, sometimes choose a light symbol to go on a dark area or a dark symbol. But with a lot of those mid-tones, they would, you know, kind of take a bit of a punt of whether they went for a, a white or a black font, depending on how mid-tone it was. But th this is great. Now there is just a white circle on every on every square and I think that really has improved the clarity. Wow, this means that you can do big areas of solid 310 black without needing a light pad. That, that's, um, that's a game changer for me. You know, my, my eyes are doing what eyes do when you head towards your late 40s. I've got my reading glasses on a lot more and, and that, that is, um, that's actually really going to help. It's incredibly clear. So it is a 40 by 50 and we have got, what have we got? 39.5 uh, by 49.5. So uh, half a centimeter short on each side. Ah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's have a look at um, where all of these wonderful drills are gonna go. So we have got the pink glow drills and they are going here in her little flower. I don't think I'm going to have anything to worry about. If you have a look here, our drills are see-through and there are no symbols. Oh, I'm so glad they've been thoughtful about this. So there are no symbols on these areas at all. So we've still got the white line. We still have a little wheel. It is very faint. And I'm going to lay some down, but I'm hopeful that we are not going to be able to see any uh, discoloration from, uh, from symbols. Well, there's definitely not going to be any shadowing of symbols coming through it. Uh, and I'm hoping that this, those white wheels will just disappear in the edges of the drills. The next one is the glow-in-the-dark green. The glow-in-the-dark green are going here in these, in these green areas of the floor. The floral areas down here at the bottom of her of her in her uh, her drapey shawl and then the majority of the glow in the dark drills these completely colorless ones they are in the highlighted areas around so you can see here these highlighted areas these strong white lining of her features they have no symbols at all in them. We're not going to get any shadowing of symbols coming through those translucent beads. Next up, let's have a look at the ABs. So the ABs that we've got is the salmon pink, which I really love. I think that's really pretty. And then the uh, like the moonstone white. Okay, so the salmon pink ones are up here 
um, in the flower. So that entire flower area here is done in ABs. And then the moonstone shimmery white <laughs> is her entire skin area. So her beautiful exposed back here and down the highlights of her arms in her cheek area and the top of her, her eyelid and the top of her eye uh, eyebrow area, like the areas that are catch the light, they are entirely done in ABs. Wow, that's going to be beautiful. Wow. Next up are the crystals. So we've got the red and the like the sapphire blue. So the crystal reds are in her lips and uh, the bow, which is tying her waist sash here. So they are going to shine like crystals. And then the sapphire blue is all the symbols that are N. So all those, oh, and they are just scattered everywhere. So they start up here, little flecks throughout her hair. You can see those little catch light areas of light here throughout her hairband. And then in strips down the length of her shawl, all down the side of her dress here and in the back of her dress are all crystals. In the, uh, in the sapphire blue as well. So this is a round kit. Uh, crafties are only doing round kits at the moment. Uh, I do hope that one day they, um, they do offer squares, but that's just the way it is at the moment. I, mean, I love I love rounds, I love squares. To, to be honest, I really just pick um, kits based on the images that I love. And, um, and if, if it comes, if I get a choice, I will choose a square just because I like the smooth mosaic finish that they give. But if they come in a round, I am just as happy. We've got some good stickiness there. The adhesive. It extends there probably about uh, three or four millimetres past. Uh, that, that's really good. Uh, I, I, I'm not a fan of when the adhesive layer comes out, you know, for a good long way and you really do have to tape it because, oh gosh, you know, with the way I work, it just gets filled up with fluff. So it, it does extend, but not, not by a great deal. Okay, the resolution comes in at nine drills per inch, which is standard for all round kits. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a couple of areas where some of these, these special glow, glow drills are, are meant to go. I'm just going to lay down a couple just so we can see how they go with the wheel around them and, and see if we do get a lot of, um, lot of shadowing uh, from that. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen my tips video, but I'm not a big fan of the red wax that comes with kits. I find that it just doesn't hold its stickiness long enough for my liking. So I'm a big fan of this um, blue tack, which is just like uh, the most common poster putty or poster tack that we have here in Australia. Uh, it, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't cut through the tack as easily as it would just punching through red wax. So I squish it on there and then I just run it around with my nail and I find that it stays in there really well. It won't stick to a waxy pen. So if you've got wax in the tip, uh, it, um, it, it won't stick to that. You really will need to clean it out or start with a clean pen. But I just find one little fill of blue tack like that um, just um, will, will last me for days. Okay, so I've completed this little area with the glows and I'm really pleased to say that you cannot see any of the symbols around the drills. The little white wheel that was on that deep pink area is completely covered with the edge of the drill you cannot see it there and you can still see the sparkle so it does look different they don't reflect in the same way that a solid color drill will and I think that is just because they are you know, semi see-through they do have that kind of uh, you know jellyfish translucent kind of look to them so they are going to reflect light differently from a solid color drill but it's beautiful. It looks really great. So I am actually excited to see how they look at night time. And um, 
I might even do a little bit of an experiment tonight and see how this glow effect does look when the lights are off. Many hours later. So this is the end result. This is what it's going to look like in the dark. Isn't it cool? Oh, I think that's so fun. So this has just been sitting in my bright room all afternoon and just for a couple of minutes before filming this now in the dark, I just had it underneath the torch for probably about a minute or two uh, just to give it a little extra boost of some light. Uh, and this is, this is what it looks like. So I think that is so fun. Oh, it's just so cute. So you can see there's definitely a difference in the color of the glow drills. You can see the colorless or the, the, the plain white uh, outline drills um, here around the edges. And those pinky purple glow drills are definitely glowing a different color in the middle of that headpiece. So uh, all of the glow, glow drills will glow in a different in a different way in the dark. So what else can I tell you about this kit? It is the 40 by 50 by Sabeel Art. It is called Jap de Pearls. Uh, she is stunning. I am now an affiliate and so that is really, really exciting for me because it means that I get to give you guys 20% off if anybody is thinking about placing an order with Crafties. Yay! Here is the code for Studio Sam viewers. I will also put it down in the description. Uh, so if you've been thinking about getting something from Crafties, I, I just adore their artists uh, like Sabeel Art who who, uh, who painted this one and uh, one of their newer uh, artists that they have signed up Ellen Lescote I, I am just in love with I mean look at this and look at this and this is one that I think I just have to get I just think those little woodland whimsical creatures are just too cute I can see that going on my list so uh, so I think that's it for today. I can't think of anything else to tell you guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed looking at this beautiful artwork. Oh gosh, I'm losing my light and we're getting a bit shadowy now. So that is her. I think she is absolutely stunning. I will be sitting up late tonight with a cup of tea and starting work on this one because I think it's beautiful. Uh, I also, the last one I did from Crafty, Crafties was this one, Flora, by the same artist, Sibyl Art. Uh, I have now finished finish that totally uh, and uh, I'm not going to show you today because I'm going to do another video about that because I want to seal it so I will be getting to that very soon so keep your eyes open for that video when I seal it uh, so that is it for today guys thanks so much for stopping by um, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you next time bye